Hey guys, Colleen here, DIYer behind LemonThistle.com, and today I am talking about how to install a fan on a sloped ceiling, and it's easier than you might think. But first, let me tell you about this room. This room is my sister-in-law's bedroom on their farm, and I am excited to be making it over top to bottom, but she doesn't know. She knows about the fan. That's the first step. But I have a few more things coming up and I'm really excited to surprise her with them. So keep your eye on my channel for the final before and after. This whole thing started when we were doing the one room challenge for my boy's bedroom. I'll link that down below. And we took out this old ceiling fan. And she said, ah, oh, can you save it for us? And I said, really? And she said, yes. So when this opportunity came up to work with Emerson fans, I know their fans are amazing. We put one in Aubrey's bedroom when we did her bedroom makeover. I called them and I said, how about we do a surprise room makeover? So I am really excited that this is coming together. I can't wait to show you what else we've got going on for this space. But today we are talking about just the fan just how to install it on a sloped ceiling. This video is part of the Modern Handmade Home series, so there's three other amazing girls that are putting fans in their space as well. So make sure you hop around and check out all those videos and see how they're using their fans in their modern spaces. Before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that below so you don't miss out on any more DIYs or home decor videos. And so that you don't miss out on the full before and after of this space because I have a feeling it's gonna be a really exciting one. All right, so I'm not gonna go over how to install a ceiling fan in general, and I'm definitely not gonna give you electrical advice because we're not electricians, but this is actually super simple. If you can change a light fixture, you can change a ceiling fan and you can put it on a sloped ceiling. So if you're at this video because you don't know how to do it or if you want to take on doing it yourself, I'm just gonna walk you through it super quick to hopefully take the intimidation out of it. So of course, the first thing that you're gonna need to do is take down your old light fixture and take down the hanger bracket. Ceiling fans are heavier and so they come with a different hanger bracket than typical light fixtures. So the first thing you'll wanna do is put that hanger bracket in. Reminder to flip the breaker before you touch anything electrical. Before you put the fan up, you'll kinda of wanna assemble it most of the way the Emerson fans have different color blades on either side. We chose the darker blades, but there's also kind of a driftwood finish, which would be really pretty. I happen to know that we're doing a lot of bright white in this room, so we went with darker for a bit of a pop. If you have a really high ceiling, you'll also want to have the extender bar hooked on to your ceiling fan. So we went with the shortest setting possible so that we could get that fan up and where nobody's gonna hit their heads on it. By using the shorter setting, you're not able to use those decorative pieces that make it look like it's hung. You can see there's the knobs on the side of the fan that are for that if you use the longer extender bar. So we did sacrifice that decorative element to go shorter, but I feel like it's really a better decision in a bedroom like this, where there might be kids jumping on the bed from time to time. So the new hanger bracket screws into the outlet box in the ceiling and the bracket is shaped for the hanger ball to rest in. So this is what's different about a ceiling fan compared to a different type of light fixture, is it has this hanger ball. So that just slides right in there, and that holds all the weight even before you hook anything up. There is a vertical groove or slot in the ball that needs to line up with a corresponding tab on the hanger bracket. Then as you lift the fan assembly into place and the hanger ball into the bracket, you just need to make sure that the slot and tab get lined up. As you lower the fan down and the ball rests in your bracket, the tab on the bracket should slide into the slot on the ball to lock it in. So it's not gonna go anywhere, which is super cool. So a couple things about this. The Emerson fans come with remote capabilities, which means that you can turn on and off your fan, turn up the brightness or dim the brightness on your light, change the speed, whatever you can do all that from a remote so there's a couple things that are different from installing a regular light fixture you cannot have a dimmer switch we ran into this on this light fixture we had to switch the switches with another one from their house it will not work with a dimmer switch you also need to take the receiver box for the remote and that is attached to the fan that's wired in it, the instructions are really clear but you need to be able to put that above your hanger bracket so you don't want to attach everything up before that is in place. You'll see that's this box that we're kind of sliding in up above the fan itself. 
All right, so once you lift your hanger ball into the hanger bracket and lock it in place with that tab and slot, then you are good to attach all of your wires and to get it working. We made sure to get everything working, including the light and the fan and the remote before we attached the plate to the ceiling. And we did this so that we could get in there and make any adjustments if need be. So here's where the magic happens and what I didn't realize when I thought this was a really big deal. That ball, because it's a ball, is going to sit level. This is how the new fans are made so that regardless of the angle of the ceiling or if your house is not level or whatever, the weight of the fan is going to keep it level. It needs to be level to spin without shaking. You know how the old ceiling fans would really get shaking if they weren't level? These ones won't do that. It is on that ball joint system, so it will always be level. With that said, the faceplate just goes up over that ball joint. So you will see there is a hole in the center of the plate that sticks to the ceiling. And instead of just having a cord coming down through it, like you would on a light fixture, you have the ball right there. So you can put that plate on any angle that you want and it will not affect the fan moving whatsoever. That is really just a decorative piece to hide all your wires, which is amazing for sloped ceilings. So all of this to say, I thought this was a super big deal and that we were taking a big risk, but it turns out it's a really easy project. So if you as well are thinking of hanging a ceiling fan on a slope ceiling, just go do it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. Make sure you hop around and check out all the videos in the collab. I will link those below. And then make sure you check back. I'm hoping to have the full room makeover done in just a couple of weeks. Okay, we'll see you guys next time.